Hey guys, it's your friends at From the Wind Farms again. Sorry it's been a while. Our camera, our GoPro is actually messing up on us, so we're actually in the process of getting a new one. So until then, I'll be recording on my phone for a while. Um, but on to what we're doing today. I just got done doing a custom order, which is some one by six fence paneling out of some oak that somebody actually brought me. Um, last night, I actually sat in on a panel on a round table of Sawyer's and I will leave a link to that down below in the comments, um, in the bio, I should say. It was very informative. Um, it let me know real quick that what I had did was not really a mistake, but a learning lesson. Um, I still gonna benefit from doing this. Um, I did it on halves and it's not really ever on halves whenever the Sawyer takes it on. Um, it's more like a 70-30 is a lot more, it's a lot more fair, just to be honest. Um, you are putting in a lot of work if you're quarter sawing especially, which uh, I'm not going to do that to this log, the other ones I did, which takes up a lot a lot of time. And so it's a lot of work, a lot of moving the log around. We're not gonna do this in this video. I'm just going to do straight up plain cuts. Um, but let's check this out. So he's got about an 18 inch basin on the fat end. It's got about a 16 inch basin on the other end. This is the big base swell of the trunk. So unfortunately, a lot of this is gonna get cut off. Actually about, well, maybe not quite to where this cut is, but this back cut, but probably a little bit less. We're gonna get a, a few good boards out of it. I'm gonna try and get some nice one by 12s, one by 10s out of it, oak. Um, but yeah, before we do any of that, we got to talk about something. Blades. I've been doing a test. Oh, so come with me. We're gonna go over it. So everybody knows so far that I have a Hudson HFE 36 Homesteader. Set y'all up right here. Perfect. So, ta-da! Wonderful, wonderful meal. Um, I have not had any problems out of my meal. It gets thrown at a level every once in a while from rolling giant logs on and off of it, having to re-shim. Newsflash for anybody that wants to do this or is currently doing it and having troubles with the bow. You have to reshim. You need to check that sucker every log just to be sure and be safe. Uh, for a good point of reference, what I did, um, y'all all know I do this full time now. Um, for my last job, I had two torpedo levels. And I actually have it set up on the mill to tell me when it's a little off and whatnot. I actually put it back where I had it. And it's off because I have something wedged in the wheel, so it's got the frame kind of kicked up a little bit. But there's your good side on it. I oh, hope y'all can see that good. But fresh blades, fresh blades, I don't care what they say. As long as you've got everything down here tuned properly. And I don't use any fancy gauge or anything yet. I guess mine isn't that wore out yet. But I know I've put at least at least 3,000 board feet through this mill since I've got it. And uh, she's been rocking and rolling. No problems. I've had to adjust it here and there a little bit, but not much. I think I've had to mess with it once in the manner of two months and I'm milling almost every day. So, um, sorry, it's a little dusty. 
wind to pick it up here a lot. Um, but in today's video, we're gonna talk about changing the blades and shout out to Hudson Forest Equipment for sending me a five pack of blades. I really appreciate you guys. If you wanna talk about a top notch, <laughs> just a top notch company, not just for sawmills, just a top notch company overall. Um, I've heard working for him is a delight. I know Mike, the general manager, he's a delight to talk to. John, he's a delight. Everybody up there is a delight to talk to. And they're, they're always happy. Even the workers on the line, they're always smile, always cheers. It's just a good environment and good people. I recommend looking them up. I'll leave a link in the bio below so you can check them out. Uh, you can actually get a free catalog just by giving them your email or not, not even your email. It's just your address There's no crazy sign up gimmick. No email. Nothing. It's just would you like a catalog? Sure. Here you go That easy All right, so I'm gonna get into it and then uh Let's cut into this sucker Had to get a minute after I get the kit And by the kit, I mean this. Oh. It's a 9 sixteenths. That's it. That's it. Ooh, that is a big old wolf spider. Ooh. Anyway, <laughs> watch this. It's easy. It's, I mean, I'm going to try and make it just as simple as I can for everybody. So, the guide handle where you grab at. And this one is two. It's literally just boop. Bust that loose. I'm trying to do this one hand and the camera facing the opposite way. So y'all bear with me. On the top, you have two. One here. Just gonna bust it loose. And one here. Same story over here. Now that I've got that off, I might speed the video up, probably, but you'll get a kind of an idea of what we have to do to get the band on there and off. Keep in mind, I have to say this, this is not an instructional video, but it kind of is. <laughs> Wear gloves. You will get nicked. It's part of it. Uh, I. As you can kind of tell, I don't wear gloves. The sun's not really helping. But, especially if you're first getting started, wear gloves. Uh, I'll leave a link to some in my Amazon shop down below. Cut level five though. Maxi Flex, they're wonderful. Um, I have a pair over there. I don't really deal with, with that unless I'm dealing with time actually. Pine seems to really always get me. So hang out.
So what I just did there is I loosened up the adjuster bolt. Usually this is tightened to about 30 to 35 pounds. And it really depends on the blade, what poundage it really set. But 35 usually tends to be the best. Um, so when I loosen that up, it allows me to push this in. And you might have seen the band get a little fatter. It's because I shortened it up a little bit. So, this is the part where you will hurt yourself. I always grab it from the back side. I put my thumbs on it and push in. But, so yeah, that was the real fun part. I used to know how to fold them. Uh, I saw your name, Dale Williams, up in uh, Sherburn, New York, showed me how to do it. It's been so long ago, I can't remember. Even though, this sucker will cut you. So, uh, I was always taught, place the teeth away from you. 